Enjoy the story of the British number one tennis player who failed to defend her title in the following US Open following a consecutive change of coach. Will she be back in the next Opens? Emma Raducanu MBE is a professional British tennis player born on the 13th of November 2002 to a Romanian father, Ion Raducanu, and a Chinese mother, Renee Jai. Emma was born in Toronto, Canada but later migrated with her family to Bromley, England, at age 2. Her parents worked in the finance sector. Raducanu holds British and Canada citizenship. She speaks her mother language Mandarin fluently and is a bit fluent when speaking Romanian. Emma participated in various sports while growing up, including basketball, golf, motocross, karting, skiing, horse riding, ballet and tennis, which she's reported to have started playing at the age of five. Growing up, she was a fan of Formula One and football. She supports North London-based club Tottenham Hotspur. Emma attended Bickley Primary School for her primary education in Newstedwood School, a selective grammar school in Orpington. She obtained a plus in mathematics and an A in economics in her A-levels. Growing up, Raducanu stated she wanted to be as athletic as Romanian Simona Halep and aspire to the mentality and sport ethics of former Chinese tennis player Li Na. Emma started playing at the junior level at the age of 13, made her ITF debut in Liverpool at the Nike Junior International, Grade 5, and went on to win the tournament just eight days later. The victory made her the youngest winner of an ITF Under-18 tournament. She continued her ITF Junior success by winning two more titles in 2017. She went on to win four junior titles in 2018, which saw her win a total of eight titles during her junior career. She turned professional in 2018, though she had to alternate between junior and professional tournaments during the 2018-2019 season. She's an all-court tennis player though she said in an interview that she preferred the hard court to other courts. She's known for her aggressive style of play. She has a very strong and energetic forehand though it's more volatile than her backhand. Her first service is believed to travel as fast as 180 km per hour, while her second service travels at 150 km per hour, which is believed to be more than the average of WTA, making her offensive even after losing her first serve. She also possesses a very good defensive ability which is attributed to her good movement, court coverage, footwork, speed and anticipation. She made her professional debut at the ITF Women's Circuit in 2018 and won her first title of the year in May at the $15,000 ITF Tiberius. She finished the season, winning the second title at the $15,000 ITF Antalya in October. In 2019 she competed and won a $25,000 event in Pune, India, defeating Nikta Baines in the finals in three sets. Her semi-finals and quarter-finals also came in three sets. She was later selected to represent the British team at the 2020 Billie Jean Cup qualifiers following the withdrawal of Johanna Conta because of the Olympics. She was then described as the British player of her generation with the most potential. She described her call-up to the British team, saying, being a bit of an underdog is great because you can go out there with no fear. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, there weren't many tennis events for Emma. However, she participated in some exhibition matches and small tournaments in the United Kingdom. She later won the Lawn Tennis Association British Tour Masters title in December 2020. Immediately after the pandemic, she returned to training under Nigel Sears in April 2021. Two months later, she made her WTA main draw debut at the Nottingham Open as a wildcard entry. Though she eventually lost her first round to British Harriet Dart. Later that month, she featured in her first Grand Slam main draw on a wildcard to the Wimbledon Championship. She scaled through to the third round defeating Vitalia Diachenko and Marketa Vondrasova. The victory made her the youngest British player to reach the Wimbledon third round since Elena in 2002. 
She then defeated Serana Sursti in the third round to reach the fourth round making her the youngest British player to reach the last 16 in the Open era. However, she retired from the competition in the fourth round following the sickness and breathing difficulties she experienced in her match. Just three months under Nigel Sears, Raducanu decided to change her coach to one of her youth coaches, Andrew Richardson. Richardson was chosen to coach her throughout the U.S. Open series. Raducanu's first tournament under her new coach was at the Silicon Valley Classic in August. She also entered the tournament on a wild card, but she couldn't go far in the tournament losing to Zhang Shuai in the first round. She again featured at the WTA 125 in Chicago, where she eventually made it to the finals but got defeated by Danish Clara Tossen. Nevertheless, the WTA points gathered from the competition saw her rise to world number 150 on the WTA rankings, her new career ranking. As number 150 on the WTA rankings, she finally gets to the US Open main draw as a qualifier, though she had to play three matches before getting to the main draw. She started the competition with a 6-2, 6-3 first round win over Stephanie Vogel, then proceeded to the second round, winning Chinese Zhang Shuai in a 6-2, 6-4 match. Her third round was excellent, losing just a game in a 6-0, 6-1 win over Sorabi's Tormo. Her 6-1, 6-2 win over Shelby Rogers saw her proceed to the quarterfinals of the US Open, she was drawn against Belinda Bisic in the quarterfinals, and she went on to defeat her in a 6-3, 6-4 win, Emma reaches the semi-finals of the US Opens without dropping a set and become the fifth player in history to reach a Grand Slam semi-finals as a qualifier. She defeated her opponent Maria Sakkari to proceed to the finals on her debut. Her reaching the finals saw her rise to the top 25 and become the number one British tennis player. She, however, defeats Leila Fernandez in the finals to clinch the title as a qualifier, the first tennis player to do so in the open era. Also, the first since Serena William in 2004 to win a Grand Slam without dropping a set. Following her success, she rises to number 23 on the WTA rankings. She received congratulatory messages from dignitaries, including that of the late Queen Elizabeth II, which read, I send my congratulations to you on your success in winning the United States Open Tennis Championships, the Queen wrote in a letter last September. It is a remarkable achievement at such a young age and is a testament to your hard work and dedication. Undoubtedly, your outstanding performance and that of your opponent Leila Fernandez will inspire the next generation of tennis players. I send my warmest good wishes to you and your many supporters. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, on their social media page, also react to her, stating. Huge congratulations at Emma Dukanu on your stunning performances and historic Grand Slam victory. Incredible, we are all so proud of you. Following her success at the U.S. Opens, she chose not to extend her coach contract and went on to participate in the Indian Wells without a coach though former British No. 1 Jeremy Bates was with her during the events. She lost in the tournament's first round in a straight set to Aleksandra Sasnovich. Later that month she also featured at the Transylvania Open in Romania, where she was seated third. She started the tournament by defeating Polona Hercog her first WTA Tour victory. However, she lost in the quarterfinals following a defeat to Marta Kostuk in a straight set. The Linz Open was her last Open for 2021. She was top-seeded for the first time in her career, though she was later eliminated from the tournament in the round of 16 by Wang Xinyu in three sets. Following her early departure from the competition, she announced Torben Belts as her permanent coach. In early 2022, Amrit Magar was found guilty of stalking Emma, an incident she said made her unsafe while at home or moving out alone. A month later, Amrit was given five years restraining order. She started the 2022 US Open series by entering the Washington Open in August, though she was later eliminated in the second quarterfinals of the tournament. Later that month, 
she started working with coach Dmitry Tursunov on a trial basis. She went ahead to debut at the Canadian Opens and got defeated by the defending champion in the first round. She continued the summer hard court season with a great victory over former number one Williams and Azarenka, making her the first player to win a bagel set over this duo. She entered the 2022 Open seeded 11th but lost in the first round to Alizé Cornette, making her the third woman in history to lose as a defending champion in the first round of the Opens. After losing at the Opens, she dropped to number 80 on the WTA rankings. Many tennis fans across the globe believe Raducanu's unimpressive performance at the 2022 US Open was attributed to her coach-changing attitude within a short spell. Her early exit from the Opens was followed by a series of injuries which saw her retire from many tournaments she featured in after the Opens. Her coaching trial with Dmitry Tursunov was also concluded without an extension, with the coach saying, he decided not to extend the contracts because of a red flag. We are all looking forward to a strong comeback from Emma. For more stories, please subscribe.